history of programmable logic controllers. Before programmable logic controllers or PLCs, the process to update a manufacturing system took quite a bit of time. This is because older systems use the relay-based control system. To fit these old systems for a new job, a complete rewiring was required. In the 1960s, General Motors wanted to update their system to manufacture the new replacements for their older car models because the relay-based control system required wiring between electromechanical components such as relays, contactors, and timers, it was time-consuming to modify or to define new tasks to the system. A complete rewiring was required every time an update or edit was implemented. In order to solve this problem, General Motors asked engineering firms to find an electronic alternative for the relay-based control systems. And finally, a new control system was introduced to the automation world, the programmable logic controller. With this new system, any change in circuit design or sequence was as simple as retyping the logic on a computer keyboard, then sending it to the PLC to be executed. These new control systems had many advantages that the older systems didn't have. They had less depreciation and a longer lifespan, they required less equipment, and they could handle more complex tasks in less time. All of these benefits combined helped PLCs to develop quickly in other industries as well as automotive industries within just a few years.